so the first thing i'm going to do as you can see here um i have this um, material which i'm going to be using to do the welt pocket and then i'm going to be using this one i don't actually have a trouser so i'm going to be using this one to place the welt pocket but whatever i do in this video can be reciprocated for your um senator's welt pocket for your trouser welt pocket for your bomber jacket or monster jacket welt pocket and um, in general any bolt pocket that you um, decide to do so then the first thing is that we're going to be concentrating on this fabric so um the length of this one i actually added um, paper gum on it so the length the breadth is seven and the length is seven um seven and a half also so what do, what this means is that i'm going to be dividing this one by two i'm going to be dividing this one by two to make that welt pocket so what i'm going to do since it's seven divided by two is three and a half so i'm going to mark three and all sides so this is the center of my welt pocket so the pocket of the trouser is not actually up to one inch it's more like um three quarter of an inch it's more like a quarter of an inch so what that tells you is that we are going to be dividing three quarter of an inch by two and when you divide three quarter of an inch by two um let's use here so when you divide three quarter of an inch by two we are going to get is um half so i'm going to be placing three inches by this side and three inches by this side so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be placing three inches by this side and three inches by this side so um, this is how i'm going to do it so i'm going to be placing um four here Yeah, this depends on how big you want or how fat you want your welt pocket to be um, some people like it's very very bold and pronounced but most of those this thing are um, a mystery to me um, so to say because I'm not somebody that like big big things apart from Shima uh -huh. like big big Shima so so I'm going to be taking my ruler and I'm going to be ruling a line across all So now this is the world pocket. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, actually, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to determine the length of my world pocket. Or like I said, this is the breadth of my world pocket. I'm going to be determining the length of my world pocket. So the length of my world pocket is six, and this is um seven and a half the length of my pocket i mean is five and this is some seven and a half so what i'm going to do is to remove one inch from all sides one inch and i come here and i remove one inch so you see that this is what five and a half i hope you can see it five and a half i remove one inch from here and i'll remove one inch from here so this is the length of my welt pocket all i did was to remove one inch from here and one inch from this side so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to come in by half an inch on both side coming in by half an inch on both side and i'm going to slant it this is basically what the welt pocket is all um, about and if you're enjoying this tutorial go ahead um, like share subscribe to this channel turn on the bell icon um, so you get to see when we upload videos like this one and um, many more I hope you can see what I did um, this is how it's going to be looking like so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to run a thread on this place this is where I'm going to be running a thread and I'm going to be running a thread here so the first thing I'm going to do is to divide this welt pocket i'm going to do what divide this welt pocket after dividing it i'm going to be running a thread on this part and on this part this center is none of my business so i can use here for my top i can use here for my bottom it does not matter that being said i'm done with this one so we take it out and i'm going to bring this one this is the fabric i'm going to be working with sorry about that this is the fabric I'm going to be working with so what I'm going to do is to pick it up and then uh, stitch it on this side stopping 
at this angle and i'm going to stitch this one on the other side stuffing at this angle i hope you saw what i did let me stitch that machine and come back to show you we stitched it on the machine like i said like i told you all we did was to stitch from this point to this point so we did not stitch at the middle at all we did not stitch at the middle and um, i forgot to tell you i actually used another paper gum for the back of the trouser so what we're going to do i want you to pay close attention um to this point what we're going to do is i'm going to fold it into two like so did you see i'm going to fold it into two like so after folding it into two i'm going to pick up my scissors and i'm going to cut through like this just a little bit did you see and then after cutting it you see i just cut open a little bit so i'm going to cut straight i hope you can see what i'm doing i'm going to cut straight i'm going to cut and cut and cut and cut to this point i'm going to cut to this point and then i'm going to do it like i'm going to cut to this place and then i stopped and then slanted it following this land i slanted it to that angle did you see it can you see so i'm going to slant it again to stop at exactly the angle please do not overcut it from here to here let me turn the back did you see what i did i actually cut and you are seeing you are seeing so did you see did you see did you see so this is where i determine the kind of world pocket i get to make so what i'm going to do is to flip it over again and then i'm going to fold this one like so and then i fold this one like so you can use iron and then i bend it inside see do you see how the front is looking do you see that thing that we cut exactly at the angle we did not overcut it at all please do not overcut it after that this is where i get to determine which um side type of welds pocket i'm going to make so i'm going to be making the big one for this video and in the next video i'm going to show you just exactly how you can make the small one but it's almost the same pattern so this is what i did um folding it up i folded it up to this point Holding it up to this point and i'm going to bend it did you see i folded it up to this point and then i bent it did you see this is how it's going to be looking this is how it's going to be looking and then i get to bend this one inside um did you see so this is how it's going to be looking basically so the next thing i'm going to do is to stitch here with my machine is to do a stitch a kind of rough stitch here with my machine and do a rough stitch here so as you can see i stitched it here just a bit and then i stitched it here just to hold this thing in place so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to top stitch from here to here but the reason i'm top stitching is so that this place do not get to come out in time so after stitching it at the machine, like I said, I went to do a loose stitch on top here. And then I did a loose stitch too on top so that this place do not get to move. So basically the pocket um, is done at this point. The pocket is completely done because some, some trousers do not need, what do they call it? Some clothes do not need a top stitch at the pocket like this. But then if the clothes um, needs a top stitch, what you get to do is to stitch around it like so um so after top stitching on the pocket this is what it looks like and i hope you can see it i hope you can see how beautiful it's looking i just had to top stitch so basically this is this for a world pocket like i said this is the first one and if you're wondering how to make the second one then stay tuned to this channel subscribe to this channel turn on the bell icon so you get to see when i upload videos like this one and many more. i'm actually coming up um, with more tutorials like this one more detailed um, tutorials like this one so yeah 
hit the subscribe button my name is Chrissy Chrissy man tell me what you think about this pocket are you making this pocket anytime soon and what are your thoughts about it I'll see you next time bye